What if I told you 5 million Americans are unemployed and it has nothing to do with COVID-19? They could not get work when unemployment was only 3.6% in a full economy, when everyone who wanted a job had a job. I must be joking, right? For 5 million extra offenders excluded from all U.S. labor statistics, it's not a joke. The previously incarcerated want to work. Not having a job is a combination of public will, policy, and practice. Bridging the gaps from incarceration to employment requires a village of advocates to help ex-offenders get the emotional, social, and employability support they need. Taking action requires a village. Let's introduce our village, the Jarvis Christian College in Actors team. Our sponsor, the Manassas Corporation. Manassas hiring partner, Premier. Unlocking Doors, a nonprofit helping ex offenders return to community with employment, housing, transportation, and mental health support. The Fresh Start Employment Program, complementing a housing initiative, helping 200 families move into stable and reliable housing. This ministry offers discipleship and addiction recovery to men who are homeless or formerly incarcerated. Our Second Chance Workers College, the Hutchins State Jail, is a pre and post readiness reintroduction program for a rolling cohort of 200 inmates with short term sentences. Let's hear a founder of Miles of Freedom has placed 400 ex offenders into jobs at a living wage of $15 an hour. Miles of Freedom, bridging the gap from prison to promise. It takes a village to shatter the prison penalty barrier to employment. Introducing The Village. The Menasha Corporation has a network of packaging and fulfillment centers in 14 states. Theirs is the industry's largest independent, integrated packaging and merchandising supply chain in the U.S. When Menasha chose Jarvis for their Future of Employment initiative, the U.S. economy was operating at full employment when everyone who wanted a job had one, 3.6% unemployment. Lori Smith, Menasha Operations Manager, tells us the Future of Employment initiative addresses the need for new sources of labor among the untapped pool of potential second chance workers, such as the previously incarcerated. The Jarvis Enactus team identified five community-based agencies already working with our target audience of the previously incarcerated. Using entrepreneurial action, our It Takes a Village project works with five community-based partners. Unlocking Doors Texas Reentry Network addresses four barriers to successful reintegration, employment, housing, transportation, and mental health. Community Care Fresh Start Housing First Program includes an employment initiative to support nearly 200 families moving into stable and reliable housing. The Men of Nehemiah Ministry offers discipleship and addiction recovery programs to homeless or formerly incarcerated men. Working with our partner, the Dallas Leadership Foundation, we launched the Second Chance Workers Pilot at the Hutchins State Jail for 200 inmates. Now, let's watch a video of our partner, Miles of Freedom. In 1995, at age 20, Miles went to prison for a murder he did not commit. He fought for his innocence for years. In 2012, the state finally cleared him. He pinpoints three things former inmates need to get on with their lives. First thing that they need is a place to stay. 
The second thing that they need is humility or the ability to be humble, to accept advice. And the third thing is resources. That is how his nonprofit, Miles of Freedom, serves by focusing on the person, not the crime. Everybody coming out of prison needs jobs. Last year, Miles of Freedom touched 400 people in need of assistance after incarceration, from jobs to education and IDs. Enabling progress requires a village of advocates. Our inactive team is working with Mr. James Reed, the DLF reentry director, himself formerly incarcerated, to incorporate our Eviction Village Employment Initiative into this whole person empowerment and reentry program. It Takes a Village is featured in the June Global Briefing Report. G7 Leaders, Camp David, USA, June 10th to the 14th, 2020. Our inactive business advisor, Mr. Glenn Beth, introduced our team to the GAS GAF Roofing Academy, who provides skill training with certification targeting the previously incarcerated. So you see, it takes a village to shatter the prison filthy barrier to employment.